I think this I think this needs something. Marbits. So green one, rainbow, blue moon, house of gold, horseshoes. Now it's spring. Happy spring, everybody. Welcome to March. Feel the madness. I'm the Snack Commissioner, as you very well know, and uh, today we will have another international journey in the art of snackery. Uh, here is another subscription box from our friends at Universal Yums, and it is called the Super Yum Dum Dumber Dum Size. It's great. Subscription on the bottom. Give them money. Let's use the uh, cheese cleaver. That's what it's for. Oh, only one tape today. Good. Makes my life easier. Hey, look. It's Germany. I thought it was going to be Italy, but it's Germany. They used to be friends, though. We have the German instructions. Let's see here. Uh, let's pick a good one. The Black Forest is known for... Medieval pottery, rose quartz mines, black wombats, that's not right, they're from Australia, don't try to trick me, cuckoo clocks, or drow. Uh, D, cuckoo clocks. They have been made in the Black Forest wood for so long that no one knows exactly when the tradition began. That's pretty interesting. And then, as always, it has all the uh, food allergies and other uh, information you need and lots of good trivia and lots of good information about what exactly the snacks are. We're not going to use that. We're just going to guess and look like the fool because it's funnier that way. But this is a very nicely made, informative product that kids and other people will like for the ages. We got a, a wonderful little yellow sticker with Hansel's and Gretel's on them. And better not go in that house, it's full of witch, witch, witch snacks. First one, toffee caramel popcorn. Sometimes I don't like popcorn because it gets stuck in the teeth, but I bet, you know, when you add toffee and caramel in front of something, that's what you make. You make a pretty good snack. good flavor it's one of my favorite popcorn kind of mellow the chew i like a crisper snap to the caramel on the outside of a caramel popcorn and this one it's got good flavors but um this one isn't my favorite yet but we got a lot to go tasty snack I hope that's truth in advertising. These are easy to open. German engineering makes their snacks easy to open. Not to stereotype, you can have bad engineers in Germany too. These, they're like, I can't stop eating them. They're like little bacon strips that kind of just taste like crisp. Rice or like a kind of like an onion ring, except instead of an onion, it tastes like kind of salted meat. I wouldn't exactly tell what kind of salted meat, but it's good. It's a nice savory snack. Not bad. Ernest flips. You can do flips for flips. Another easy to open one. It's fantastic. Um, they are the little uh, familiar curls that we often see on the commercials. And it's got a nice, you know, they're peanutty. They're good. They got a nice peanut flavor to them. 
And this has, on the back of this, this has like a sunflower. So it's probably made of sunflower oil and peanuts. And you know what? Pretty, pretty good combination. I like these. Also, the bag is completely filled, like almost to the top. Like, not a lot of air. That's nice, nicely packed. Let's just put that in the snack pile. Banish it. Palms ketchup. They're, they might be stealing the, the French's words. Better not do that. Stay in your stay in your corner, Germany. I'm just kidding. I think all snacks should be shared. Language should be shared. It's a whole mem memetic genetic evolution. Let's just spread and change humanity for the better one word at a time. I'm not a stickler for this has to be there and that has to be there and you can only say your language that you grew up with. Let's let's spread the love and evolve. These are that same little crispy like uh, onion ring type crispy airy crunchy snack with a, a hint of ketchup on it. It's good. These are all like very functional Nice savory snacks, but none of them are, well, besides the peanut one, that was actually pretty good. But none of them are, like, super amazing. They're just all very serviceable and enjoyable. Which I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain about that. Cocoa Dusted Elms. There we go. It's a very large almond coated in a fine cocoa dust. I might use this dust later to look for snack crimes just for fingerprints. You know, switching to the savory to the sweet so uh, dramatically could be a danger for, for those who are untrained, but just do it carefully. This is great, though. A nice semi-sweet chocolate, kind of mysterious. A nice fine dusting of cocoa powder with a nice crunchy almond in the middle. This is a this is a spectacularly good snack. And I would put it in like on top of a cupcake or just in a bowl. And then you eat 12 of them or like on top of ice cream. Or just, you know, this is a good one. Use it for special occasions. Holler and Kugel. Cream filling with chocolate shavings covered in chocolate. Oh, they cheated and kind of translated for me on the back. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I like it because it helps us uh, bridge the language gap and brings everyone closer together as people. But it's kind of fun to just guess. I'm opening this box weird. Just guess my want. Let's slide it out. Oh, that's nice. This is Stracciatella flavor. Oh, there we go. On the floor. We'll, we'll throw that away and not eat it later. I think. Oh, that's good. It's like a marzipan cookie dough. Kind of, yeah, a marzipan. I like that. That's good. Halloween Koodles. You're, you're pretty good. Let's just have a Spring drink. Guess, guess, guess the mystery drink. And a couple more of these. Unicorn. I'm not trying, I'm not ranking the Marbits. That's just a flavor cleanser. Now this, this looks like an impressive candy bar. Look at that. It's like. Pleated. Like, there's, there's like quality in the wrapper. I'm going to open it all tentatively to make sure there's no hidden golden tickets or something. And there is not. Oh, no, snake all the way. Ooh, another like gritty marzipan treat inside, I believe. Mm, that's nice. That's a nice. That's a very good. 
You know, I bet Germany is known for its chocolate <laughs> because this is very good. If it's not, it should be. Oh, cookie dough. That's why it tasted not as much like marzipan as I thought and more like actually cookie dough. I thought it was cookie dough flavored marzipan, but I think it's just cookie dough flavored cookie dough. And guess what? It's incredible. Do you ever, this is a fun treat. You ever take like cookie dough from an ice cream, like cookie dough ice cream, and you put it in the oven on a little baking sheet, and then you make tiny, tiny little cookies, like, and you can have a whole bowl of cookie crisp just for yourself. It's really fun and kind of stupid. It's sort of a waste of your time, honestly, but if, if you would feel like you got time to waste, you should do it. sun dried crunch chocolate. Woo! It just looks extreme, you know? Look at all that, that font. It's very... It's a comic adventure. Ooh, look at that texture. I think it's got popcorn in it. Or puffed rice, anyway. Because it says sunrise. It's probably not popcorn. That's, that's pretty good. Good chocolate. Nice uh, puffed grains in any case. Nice crunch on the inside. I always like a good textural interplay and this box has that in spades, so kudos. Which I dearly miss, by the way. Hashtag bring back kudos. Mini Oxi cookies. Had to make sure I had the whole thing. Sometimes you can't memorize the package when you just see it for the first time. I know it's a golden wrapper. It looks kind of fancy. These are fine pastries that have been masterly crafted since 1884. So this is like the one in the cookie tin that like... You're, you're not sure you want to eat because it's kind of like sticky and old. And then you have it and you're like, you know, that's, that's a pretty good cookie. A nice fruity gel. It's quite good. A really actually kind of delicate cookie. I thought it was going to be really crispy and it has kind of a chewiness to it. Um, and the, the fruit gel is, is kind of subtle. I like it. This is this is pretty good. Sweebles. Onion flavored rings. I have a feeling I can guess what these taste like. Yep, I, I have a feeling. But let's you know cultural interchange. Let's let's uh let's compare and contrast. That's what the, the point of this. Woo. That is very, very familiar to a snack I am familiar with that you can find in um, gas stations all across the United States of America. I'm trying to scan it for anything subtle or uh, unique or distinct. The size is a little different. It's a little less flavor blasted. It's a nice onion ring snack. Um, it'd be fun to have one of these and other ones you're familiar with and throw it all in a bowl and just have like a onion ring Chex Mix variety hour. I think that would be fun. This is a good snack. Probably not going to fly to Germany just to have these, but if I see them there, I'll probably pick some up. Choco Monk Strawberry Rhubarb. I like their candy construction. Their candy bars are all robust. They're all thick. They're all like solid. Kill someone with this candy bar. Don't kill anyone with this candy bar. I'd have to give you a snack citation. I, I knew a guy who, who actually tried to crunch someone up with a crunch bar. That was the crumber knot. He's still on the loose. We gotta stop him. Um, white chocolate with fruit. This is better than just straight white chocolate. Like, let's, let's get it out of the way. White chocolate has its place. 
I'm not here to condemn any type of snack preference. A little fruit, a little textural interchange in the white chocolate, you open up a whole new world. So let's try it out. You know, yeah, that's good. It's kind of tangy and tart. I'm going to, next time out in a, I'm at a frozen yogurt place, I'm going to recreate that using uh, different fro frozen yogurts and fruity cereal. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to recreate this in a dessert one day. That's what I do for research. Koo bon bon with a cow on it. It's going to be a milky dairy caramel treat. Picking, picking at the, uh, picking at it. Discover the treasures inside. Oh, individually wrapped, individually wrapped. I like that. Put it in your pocket. Or don't, but you like, you know, you got layers of protection. I like that. Sometimes you open, like, a thing of candy, and, like, they're just sticky all day once you eat it once. But this one, you, you, I like that. I like the packaging in Germany, I'm going to say. Um, a nice-looking little chewing caramel. Mmm. Mmm-mm. Mmm-mm-mm. -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's a, that's a great caramel. I enjoy that immensely. This might be on the... The top of the, top of the walk. Cock of the walk. Top of the cake walk. It's really good. Look at me, I'm rambling. Let's get, let's get back to task. Marzipan cut off in. Uh oh. Has, has my packaging skills failed me? Oh, that's because they put a sticker. You know what? Oops. I broke the law. I used my teeth. <coughs> Mars pan with cocoa powder. Mmm. See, I like Mars pan. It's got a nice, soft, creamy nuttiness. Nice almond paste flavor. A little bit of cocoa on the outside. This is a nice, delicate, almost floral. Not really floral, or, but like just the, the openness of, of the almonds has a, there's a nice, delicate balance here. I like these. Another good thing for topping for ice creams or, or cupcakes or snacks. Or just eat them right out of the bag. Even if you have to illegally open it with your teeth. More, more marzipan, flavor of the day. Not much to say. Dark chocolate, little, little submarine. Das bow. Very good. Dark chocolate, nice, simple marzipan. I think these were a little more like subtle and open, and this is more of the kind of like marzipan that's just kind of gritty. Like this is fine, and this is coarse, but they still, they both have their, their moments and their, their places. Ah, if it's not a box, if it didn't have a, a wafer in it. That's not true, there's plenty of boxes that don't have wafers in it. What am I talking about? Here we are, traditional wafer cookie. I'm a big fan of, of these. Let's see how, uh, ooh, almond cinnamon from Spray Waffle. <laughs> this one's, one's kind of, this one's kind of dusty. It's hard, hard to eat cleanly. Um, it's very good. It's not just your average wafer cookie. It's got a little fine dusting of cinnamon and whatever this indicates. Anyway, got carried away a little bit. It's kind of dry. Let's 
This what the whistle was this mysterious snack. There we go. Let's scan to see if there's not any hiding. There, there, uh, sometimes we have ones hiding and, and we miss them, but not today. Yum bag! This is a square that says cola on it. Mysterious! I thought it was going to be brown inside and it's white inside. It's like a Laffy Taffy that's not so funny. It's more of a... I get it, but you don't laugh. You just say, yeah, that's funny. Okay. Cola. Cola flavored Laffy Taffy. Not to disparage. They did a fine job crafting this. I'm just not knocked off of my socks. Which is fine. Sometimes you need to keep your socks on. If you are a fan of uh, taffies and cola, you might find this to be delightful. And I find it delightful, but you know, that, that's funny. That kind of delightful. This is a square that says grapefruit. You know, I'm considering even trying this, maybe. Because I'm just going to say, oh, that tastes like grapefruit. But you know what? Let's give it the, the baker's dozen try. Pumple of music to my ears. Just, just kidding. It's just, it's just kind of tangy and tart. It's fine. Germany, don't let me down in the in the yum bag section. That's usually your, your best part. Not really. The best part is when there's a whole cake or something. The yum bag's just kind of a fun little treat. This says strawberry licorice, and you know how I like licorice, and how I'm impartial to strawberry. But guess what? Tricks and traps. Neapolitan, maybe. Ooh, I don't know. It's Neapolitan if it wasn't at all. Because the brown part is not chocolate. It's that horror out of licorice. And I like that. Remember the pink part? Is everyone's favorite? Strawberry. Um. And there's nothing else really unique. Well. They have a picture of a cow on this, and it says not dog and dog and it says n n noob. It says that. Anyway, we'll fix it in post. Maybe you won't read that. Coffee chew. Why did I end on a low note? We have to have a whole arc of joy and sadness and back to joy. And now we're just like, the candy's fine. Well, join us next time when we go into the month of April. And we, we'll explore different things. We might explore Easter candy. We might explore springtime delights. We'll see. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Please do the things you should do on YouTube, like like and subscribe. Or don't. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'm the Snack Commissioner. Stay safe. Obey all the snack laws. Watch out for Crumb or not. He'll get you. He'll crush you with a big old licorice stick or something. Watch out. Anyway, bye. Thanks. This is the scissor editing song. Nothing can possibly go wrong. I almost cut myself.